Welcome to Radio Arizona RV, episode number 15. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about UPS and FedEx shipping rates. You know, we do a, a lot of shipping from online orders, from phone orders, from people needing products shipped to different areas. So we have a, you know, a lot of experience with this, whether it's from our e-commerce sites or products that we ship on Amazon or just right out of our store. And we ship a, a variety of items. So it's not just like we ship one or two things. So we have a, a broad experience in what shipping expenses are and how to ship the most economical way, you know, not only for you, but also for us. You know, it, it, it works both ways on that. But my point today is the increase that's coming or that is here in 2015 from FedEx and UPS, they have completely changed the shipping game. And some stores will, will take them quite a while to figure it out, and some will figure it out right away. And, you know, we are figuring it out. But we had no idea how bad it was really going to be until we started getting into it. So right off the get-go for 2015, there was a 5% increase in shipping costs with UPS and FedEx. That's 5%, right, to start off the year. But they have a new way of calculating the weight. It's called dimensional weight. And where every package that gets shipped out has to be measured. You have three measurements, the length, the width, and the depth. And you multiply those, and then you divide by 166, and that becomes the dimensional weight. Now, in small packages, it's not going to make a big deal or a big difference, whether it's you know a heavy package or a light package. And the small package could be something that's you know 10 by 10 by 10, or 10 by 12 by 15 get the idea a smaller package but the larger ones especially if it's something light in it it's going to become more expensive like let's take an air conditioning shroud now this is an extreme example but it only weighs about 15 pounds but it's in a box that's approximately 40 inches by 30 inches by by 18 so the one we added it up by dimensional weight, it came out to 129 pounds for UPS shipping. There is no way you could afford to do that. There's no way we could do that. You know, that certainly wouldn't be a free shipping item. So it's changing it. And the reason why this is happening is because of companies like Amazon. Now, I'm not going to sit here and dog Amazon, try to put them down and stop you from shopping or anybody else shopping from Amazon. That's not the point of this. But they have a habit of taking a item like an iPod and putting it in a box that will hold 100 iPods. And they put a little bit of packing in there, and that's it. So for UPS and FedEx, they have an item that only weighs 2 or 3 pounds, but it's in a box that could possibly hold 40 or 50 pounds worth of product. So they're shipping a, a lot of dead airspace. They're not shipping weight anymore. So they have these boxes on their truck more boxes than what they're used to, but yet they're not shipping any weight. And they're not able to ship as much in one day because their, bo their trucks are filling up too quick. They have too many boxes for the route, so they're not going to buy new trucks. What they're going to do is get everybody to quit doing that, and hopefully Amazon will catch on, and maybe we can reverse this in the future. But it's changed it dramatically. So shipping is going to be expensive, more expensive than what you're used to. So the shipping has changed, and we're going to try to ship more with the post office, USPS. It's more work for us, but it's what we have to do. We have to adjust because we can't have these just crazy shipping rates because people, our customers, were complaining before they had the increase, so they're going to be complaining that much more. So it's important to understand that. It's not us making more money. It's UPS charging more for the products and service they deliver. And UPS and FedEx are good companies. They, they deliver on time. You know, there's relatively little or no damage to packages. You know, we haven't had a claim in years. So they, they do a good job. But they're just charging more because they're being forced to by companies like Amazon who are not shipping things properly. So be patient. We're going to work our way through this and other retailers will as well are going to as well it's going to take some a little longer to catch up with it because they don't ship as much 
Or it's when they finally ship that one item where all of a sudden they get the $150 UPS bill from their drop shipper. They're going to go, uh oh, and they're going to adjust at that time. So within the next, you know, three to six months, you're going to be seeing a lot of adjustments with companies and how they ship and their shipping costs and what's even available online. There will be some products that just won't be sellable on the internet anymore because it'll be too expensive to ship. So I'm just making you aware. When you're next time you're ordering something, the shipping seems extreme, maybe call the retailer, maybe call that e-commerce company, whether it's us or anybody else, give them the benefit of the doubt and ask them if there's any way they can do it cheaper. And just so you know, on our websites, if we think the shipping is a little high, we always double check. And we not only check to see if the rate's high on our website, maybe the item has too much weight, you know, it's, uh, the weight attached to it is too much. Maybe it's only weighs eight pounds, but we have 12 pounds on the website for some reason, you know, somebody put it in wrong. We check it that way. Or if it's an item that we can put in a USPS flat rate box, we just go ahead and do that. And then we give you the money back. We don't charge you. If we, if we can save you money, we save you money. So with our websites, keep that in mind. And that would be ArizonaRVPartCenter.com, HotBoatRopes.net, and SunProMFG.net. Those are three websites where we sell our products on, and we adjust the shipping to save you money whenever we can. And by the way, if we don't charge you enough, if for some reason on the website you don't get charged enough, we don't charge you. We don't call you up and say, hey, you know, the shipping's a little bit more. We need some more money. We don't do that. In fact, we just had an order where our website charged $20 for shipping and it was actually 62 and that's because of the new rates. And that's one of the things that we knew was going to happen sooner or later. And so we're adjusting. So we lost $42 on that, but we didn't call the customer. The customer doesn't even know that that happened. We just shipped the order because that's the way we do it. It's customer service. So we try our hardest to always be fair to you. Even if sometimes we have to take a loss which hopefully that doesn't happen often because then that would put us out of business, right? And you guys love us and don't want us to go away. So just, as I said, be patient with us or other retailers as they're trying to order things and get things in for you or ship to you. Even bringing products into stores now, like our store, if somebody wants something, we're going to have to be very careful on saying, well, we can just have it tomorrow and quote them a shipping price because it might be three or four or five or six or 10 times more than what we anticipated. So that's the update. And also, if you want to check this out, you can go to UPS's website, ups.com, and they have the new, there's a link for dimensional shipping and the new rates for 2015. So that'll kind of give, explain it to you. It's probably a little more detailed than what you need, but at least you can see it in person and know that it's for real. So you at UPS and FedEx are both doing this. So it's going to affect a lot of businesses around the United States and possibly the world. But now you're informed and you have a better understanding of why shipping can be so expensive. So I want to thank you for listening to this and let me kind of get that off my chest. A little frustrating for us. But thank you. This is Eric with Radio Arizona RV. And you can reach us on the web at www.radioarizonarv.com or give us a phone call at 800-789-5588. Thank you.